Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Thursday, March 26th, 2020. Let's get these cards shuffled up and let's see what the energy for today is going to be all about. What kind of vibe are we going to be looking for and what do we want to consider and keep in mind? Also, as I'm shuffling cards, keep in mind too that I am offering free readings. Um, if you want to get a free reading, simply DM me through my Facebook and um, ask me the question. And certainly I'll be glad to do a reading for you and respond back. Um, I can't always promise I'll do it right then and there. It's all relative to my availability. But within a day, I will definitely respond back with your reading. So let's get these cards laid down. I think we're pretty good with the shuffle. And let's see what the vibe for today is all about, shall we? Our second stack and our third stack. So let's see where we're at. So today I'm kind of really feeling this first pile. Let's see what we have going on for the first pile. All right, we have strength. So let's talk a bit about strength, if you will. Um, it's a major arcana card, right? So it is simply all about things that we need to be prepared for and we need to respond to. It's not so much that we're gonna be making up um, the day, it's certainly gonna be how we react and respond to the day. So when we look at strength, some things that really do come to mind, um, for me anyway, is one, overcoming self-doubt, that self-dialogue and self-doubt, um, working through it and overcoming it. Um, having that inner strength, that courage, that bravery, Think of the lion when you think of this card and courage and bravery and strength that it does have and confidence, right? And um, also being compassionate and being able to allow people to voice their opinions, but being able to subtly get your points across and get what you need to get done finished. Uh, whatever goal that might be, whatever it might be. In order, in, um, in order to manage circumstances, you'd want to have some subtle control, not hard control. You want to be able to do things subtly. You want people to see and buy into your strategy in order to make it work versus taking this um, hard control and trying to control each and every circumstance. It's much better to get people on your side, buying into your beliefs, than it is trying to force them onto it. So when we look at the general meaning for the card, um, it's all about inner strength. It's all about you being able to master your raw emotions, um, bring a calm to yourself. The only way you can calm any situation or circumstance is by you being calm, number one. So making sure that you have that inner calmness, that self-confidence that's necessary in order to overcome some challenges and to overcome any situation that might be presented your way. Uh, this card is all about overcoming obstacles, um, getting through the things that we face. Most of that being self-doubt, right? Um, a lot of times our worst enemy are ourselves because we doubt our abilities. We self-doubt a lot. We really buy into our fears and anxieties. And in some circumstances, we allow them to control us. And that's not who we are. And that's not what we want to be. We want to raise that vibe and we want to control our responses to situations as well as be able to control our emotions from a standpoint of not allowing that inner dialogue of I can't and it won't work and it won't do this to win. Allow yourself to remaster that with I will, I can, and I will uh, be able to. Um, the same thing goes if you're doing that around people, they're going to buy into that and they're going to see the effectiveness of that. And they're going to allow you to get exactly where you need to be with their help. Um, this is also a kind of about um, being patient and being compassionate, both with yourself as well as with other people, making sure that you maintain and you develop that new sense of self-confidence because the more confident you are, the more competent you are. One of my favorite sayings is that confidence equals um, competence. And if you're confident, you'll get what you need to get done. And you want to be able to do it with other people's helps by gentle coaxing, 
and positive reinforcement and encouragement and compassion, you do want do not want to try to dominate others to see your viewpoint. It won't work and it's just gonna make you look worse, bad, and just not in a good light. So from a love and relationship standpoint, this is all about, um, again, compassionate, being confident, uh, being willing to be that person to help that other person get to where they need to be. Along with that, it's all about being able to do that gentle coaxing to get them see what you're seeing in any type of situation. It's um, a good card to have in a relationship. It's a good indicator. It means that um, whether it be friends or it be a significant other, um, the relationship is really strong, really close, and really united. So it's definitely a good card to have in that type of circumstance. Um, if there are any issues going on, they are certainly going to be temporary. And the best way to get through the situations is by each other being compassionate and being strong and being resilient for each other, whether it be friends, as I said, or a significant other. And now from a money and a career standpoint, this is all about you making sure that you master your emotions at work. You don't want to fly off the handle. You don't want to cry. You don't want to really show yourself like that. You want to go in there with your self-confidence, with your skill set and your potential and let all of that speak for itself. If you're in a role of leadership and you are in a role where you do have to get certain tasks done, whether it be projects, goals, or whatever it might be, this is a card for gentle reinforcement, gentle coaxing about just being positive, reinforcing good um, behaviors, um, really laying out the mindset as to why things need to be done a certain way. Once you start doing that, people will buy into it and your job will be much, much easier. So... That's it for our reading for today. I hope you enjoy Thursday's reading. I think this is a pretty cool Thursday card. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow on Friday. Until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.